back. In this third video, we're going to take a look at how to rip the audio from the video that we just recorded on Screencastify. So just a quick recap, uh, we set up our website here with all of our information about our podcast. We then uh, went to Screencastify, we recorded our desktop using the um, system audio, making sure that we can get music. We used music we found from Incompetech, recorded our podcast. When we hit stop at the end of um, our recording, Screencastify will open up a new tab with our video. So again, if I play this, play, play my song, this is the information. Hit play. Yeah, so that's what I just recorded a few minutes ago. So here's how we're going to get um, the audio ripped off of this video um, without having to do anything super crazy. So the first thing that I'm going to want to do is save this video to the disk. So if I click save video to disk, it's going to download it as a WebM video, which is totally fine. That's how it works. The next thing we're going to do is um, install a Chrome extension called MP3 Converter. And I can see that right here. It's MP3 Converter. But to find that, I'm going to go to the Chrome Web Store. If you just Google search Chrome Web Store, you don't even have to type it all the way in. It'll show up. Chrome Web Store. And in the search, I'm going to search for MP3 Converter. Now, there's going to be a million. Uh, and that's one of the, the things that, you know, I sort of explored a number of these. Um, the one that was the best for me was this one. It's actually called MP3 Converter, and it's offered by Balvin.Perry. Not sure who that is, um, but this one works better than some of the others that I have tried. So um, I went ahead and added that to Chrome. The extension looks like an M and M actually up here in the upper right hand corner. So I'm going to click on that M, and it brings up a very simple dialog box. It says choose the files or drag them here to start the, con uh, the conversion. So if I click on it, it's going to open up my files, and I should see that January one I just recorded. So I'm going to click open. It's going to very uh, quickly upload my file. So what it's going to do is upload this video. It's then going to convert the audio from that video and then allow me to download just the MP3 um, of that file. So here it goes. I'm almost done uploading. I'll go ahead and jump ahead so you can see what it looks like. So now it's done. As soon as this bar went green, it automatically downloaded the MP3 right there. So I am already ready to go. The only thing I will mention up here, if you want to improve the actual sound quality, it defaults to 128. Um, kilobits per second, but 320 is like CD quality, so you can definitely uh, rip it at a higher quality. Although, you know, at this point, it may not make much of a difference, and the file will be smaller if it's only 128. So, just a couple things to think about. Depends on how long your video is. This is pretty short, uh, and I would say to keep it that way. Screencastify, the free version, does have a 10 minute limit. So if you are thinking you're going to go longer, it would be better to probably break the thing up into shorter episodes anyway. Um, the, the kids that I've worked with who've done this, they've made very short two to three minute uh, episodes, but they can cover a lot of different topics. And so they end up with four or five different episodes, um, you know, which gives them a little bit of a sense of, you know, completion. They've done something cool. So that has downloaded. Now, what I want to do is uh, open up Drive because this is now in my files. If I open up my files and I go to Downloads, it'll be up here at the top. There is that MP3 audio, which if I double click on it, I play my song. should start playing. Simply okay, so there's the audio of the file. So what I want to do is put it into a Google Drive folder. So I'm going to go to Google Drive. And again, this just makes things easier to stay organized. Uh, I'm going to create a new folder. Because I'm going to have my students organize these uh, and make sure that they're shared and listen, well, listenable by anyone. So I've created a folder. It's going to pop up here in a sec. All right, podcast. Uh, I'm going to create that folder. So now <clears throat> in this podcast folder, I'm going to upload the MP3 that I just downloaded. So I'm going to go to new and then choose file upload. At that point, I'm going to find my MP3. I don't want the WebM. I don't want the video. I want just the MP3. And again, if you've recorded and converted a lot of these, you can choose as many different ones as you want to upload. I'm just doing the first one. So I'm going to open that. 
And now that that's uploaded, I want to make sure that anybody can listen to this file. And I'm going to do that by really sharing the whole folder. Because that way, and I always tell my students to do this too, if there's anything public that they need to have um, viewable or uh, listenable in this case by anyone, is to share the entire folder. So if we right click on the podcast uh, folder name up there and click share, we're then going to see we can go to advanced. And instead of being private, we want to make that anyone with the link can access anything in these folders so now and I always this is like a general thing I always tell kids if you're gonna put something on a website or you know anything that you want other people to be able to see just share the folder then put stuff in that folder so from now on anything that else gets uploaded to this folder is gonna be viewable so let's go back to our uh, podcast show notes and let's say I wanted to add episode 4 to this list so I'm gonna go on down here create a text box and I'll say episode 4 colon new episode all right so spelling is a problem episode and I'm going to sort of drag this over and then I'm gonna put another link over here and this one's going to be listen to the episode and I want to change this obviously to being a link so I'm gonna click on the link there that's my text there's my link let's go back now uh, that this folder is available I can get a shareable link really easily it says that link sharing is on and I've already got my link copied I'm just gonna drop it in here hit apply and now I've got a link make this blue like my other ones and now I've got episode 4 obviously change the font and whatnot and my little button if I wanted to do that as well which is just an image uh, but that's got a link to it so now in the visible version of this presentation people slow down or go all the way down to episode 4 I click on that it brings up a new tab and now my audio is ready to be played. Um, so again, this is a great way to uh, have your students sort of present their information in a different way, re recording podcasts on their Chromebook and then sharing them with the world. Um, it was a really great way to get some of that critical thinking, uh, communication, and some of those other four C's going on uh, in your classroom. So hope these videos were informative and you use some podcasts in your classroom. If you got questions uh, or comments, leave them in the, uh, in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.